Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. Last we left off, we were continuing the trial, trying to find out what happened to Sakura and who killed her. And now, you know, we're pretty much hearing that uh, Fukawa also attacked Hagaki uh, also attacked, attacked Ugami, not just Hagakiri. And now we're trying to say, like, you know, she says she did her in by the magazine rack, and there's evidence that... That, yeah, she was attacked in front of there, and that would be the magazine rack bloodstain. There was a lot, right, by the blood, uh, by the, uh, well, by the magazine rack. I mean, how easy is that to kind of deduce? Uh, I don't know what he's saying here, because, uh, it's not showing up. This is new. Okay. The blood in front, I don't know what the hell happened. The blood in front of the rack is all the evidence you need of that. Couldn't genocide just, uh, just have moved Ogre's body after killing her? The way it looked like I was the killer since she was sitting down when I whacked her. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold your horses. I can't carry anything heavier than these Jenna scissors. Uh, there's no effing way I could have moved that monster's mass of muscle. Then, what? Excuse me, what the hell, dude? So, are you still gonna try and tell me there isn't anything else in this case? But! Besides, we still haven't answered this murder's biggest question how the sealed room murder was constructed. Until we solve that mystery, we can't say we solved this case. How she constructed a sealed room? Easy! After killing Sakura, Fukawa got back into the locker. I gotcha. She was hiding in the locker until you guys broke the seal. Then she took advantage of the confusion to slip out of the locker and into the crowd. No, I don't think that's how it happened. And the reason Fukawa couldn't have been hiding in the locker until we broke the seal is because... Well... Not that he was in the locker and it's too small, but we saw it ourselves. It was empty when we looked into the rec room. I mean, it was open and empty. You were there with us, Asahina, before I broke the rec, room's, uh, rec room door's window. So you would have seen that the locker was already open. There's no way Fukawa could have been hiding in there between them, between then and when we broke into the room. Mm, then, where was she hiding, dude? Beats me? Anyway, what's all this about a sealed room? You're the culprit, man! How could you not know? Maybe, like, I'm not the culprit or something? You're lying! She isn't lying. As I've been saying, there's still more to this case. Well, if genocide isn't ain't the culprit, that means the bullet her head isn't what killed Ogre. And what of it? There isn't any other explanation for how she died. Are you sure you haven't just overlooked some other possibility? Overlooked some other possibility? Assuming her cause of death is something else, it would have to be... <sighs> what could it be? Let's well figure it out. Oh, jeez. I think I already know what it could be. Well, eh, we'll see here. Assuming Ogre's cause of death was something, wasn't the bullet to the back of her head, then what did kill her? There's no other possibilities. Her cause of death was the wound on her head and nothing else. So it's back to being on uh, it's so it's back to being on uh, me. If there are any clues as to her as to her cause of death, there's only one place where that would have been written. And only place it would have been written is of course um it would be the Monokuma file 4 cuz that always has information on her stuff. So yeah, it wasn't the wound on, on the head that supposedly killed her, but what else could it have been? Hmm. Perhaps we'll figure that out soon. Already phase nine. We're, we're getting there. Usually uh, every trial has like around 13, 14 phases. The Monokuma file says that Yogami had vomited blood. Could that possibly have something to do with how she died? There was even traces of it left on her corpse. She could have just bit her cheek or her tongue when she was when she uh, hit her on her when she was hit her on the head. If she had just bitten herself, the Monokuma file showed her when it said she had vomited blood. Furthermore, there wasn't any cuts or bite wounds inside her mouth. You investigated that closely, damn girl. You must love you some dead bodies. It's not the dead bodies I'm interested in, just solving mysteries. But dude, if she didn't bite the inside of her mouth, then what made her puke blood? It would have to be something that occurred internally. Chances are, Sakura Ogami was murdered by poisoning. She was poisoned? 
Precisely. And don't waste your time questioning it. After all, I'm the one who reached that conclusion. Uh, she was poisoned? That's stupid. Don't believe it? Then allow me to explain just how the culprit got Ugamen to take the poison. You think you can explain it? Damn right I do. Let's get started. Silence! All of you! Listen quietly! My white knight speaks! You're the loudest of everyone, man. Nikita's mystery lay in the chemistry lab on the fourth floor. Huh? Not the rec room? That means I could have found it too! The kind of fool who throws up the white flag at being evicted from the scene could never do such a thing. Well, you're not wrong. There's a large cabin in the chemistry lab in which a plethora, a plethora of chemicals and reagents are stored. Plethora, plethora. Three amigos reference. I found this there. Is that poison? It's not particularly potent poison, but if you are, if you just enough, you'll die well enough. But the properties of the poison are irrelevant. What matters is where I found this container. Where was it? The chem lab cabinet is divided into three sections, labeled A, B, and C, respectively. Cabinet A contains nutrients, cabinet B reagents, and cabinet C poisons and other hazardous chemicals. Then you found that poison in cabinet C, right? Oh, did I now? I think I know where Tagami found that poison. As I recall, I found that bottle in the same cabinet as the nutrients and stuff, which could mean that it was in another... Come on now. Then, well, wait, nutrients and stuff, that's cabinet A. Yes, why the hell I, I was going to confuse about that for a minute. That bottle of poison was inside cabinet A, wasn't it? Huh? I thought cabinet A was supposed to be for nutrients and stuff like that. Curious, isn't it? Why would a bottle of poison have found its way into ca cabinet A with the nutrients? Why indeed, dude? Because there is a, this is a byproduct of the culprit switching things around. What do you mean? This is what I mean. Oh! I couldn't believe my eyes! Tsugami had brought the bottle of poison to his lips. What? My white knight! We could do nothing but stand there and watch the unexpected series of events unfold before our eyes. With the man at the center of it all just pressed forward, his usual calm demeanor unbroken. Ugh, disgusting. Dios, and Mio! My white knight's in trouble! <laughs> okay. You need some water, quick! Just drinking the powder gotta be hell on your throat! Dumbass! We need to make him barf up the poison fast! That that taste does make me want to vomit. High quality, my ass. Huh? What you talking about, dude? Protein. What else? Protein? Togami, can I see that bottle, please? Certainly. By all means. Kitty took the bottle from Togami and scooped a bit of the powder out with her finger. And then put it to her mouth. This is protein. Huh? Indeed. There wasn't much poison in that bottle, but protein powder. Conversely, where did that poison that sh could, should have been in a bottle end up? There was protein powder in a poison bottle? So, flipping things around, what container was the poison in? And, you know, even... Hmm, okay. In that case, they're like, where's the poison? Well, it couldn't be in none other than the actual... Oh, I don't know. The thing that's supposed to have protein in it? Damn it. My aptitude probably got hit there. No, I did not do... Uh, stupid crosshair drift. If I haven't mentioned already, the skill I wanted to get from... Uh, what's her name? Ugami was eliminated. Um, crosshair drift completely. That was something... I, it's an E. What? I can't spell. I can't spell. Um... It was gonna, um, um, like, just completely annihilate the crosshair drift, and I really wanted that, but... Oops. And just didn't get it in time. Yeah, that one, yeah, I didn't do that good at all, because I kept smacking things. Uh... Ah, oh, still got an A. Okay. I'll take it! Could a poison have, uh, could have been put into a protein container? Since there were pro since there was protein powder in a poison bottle, isn't it possible the opposite is also true? Exactly. The protein container and poison bottle had their respective con contents swapped. The protein powder was replaced in the, in the poison bottle, and the poison into the protein container. 
With that in mind, it, sh it shouldn't be hard to see how the culprit got Ugami in just a poison. Poison, for real? By giving Ugami a certain something found the scene of the crime, they got her to take the poison. Something at the crime scene? Well, wouldn't that be none other than the actual protein container? Easy as that. Is the thing the culprit gave Ugami a protein container? Not just any protein container. One with poison inside. Huh? That's how they got her to ingest the poison, and that's her real cause of death. Oh yeah. Dude, Ogre did like to talk about how pro protein could cure anything. Excuse me while I yawn. So after she took uh, those blows to the head, she decided to take some protein to help her get better. But the container that she was given had poison in it, not protein. And I know exactly who it was who performed the swap. Seriously? Who did it, dude? There was clear evidence as to who did it left in the chemistry lab. The evidence he's talking about can only be that. And we found it in front of the cabinets, which is none other than uh, the footprints. I mean, because it leads directly to the cabinet and back out. The footprints left in front of the chem lab's cabinets. That's the evidence you're, you're saying uh, points to the person who switched the poison and protein, isn't it? When I, witnessed the chem when I visited the chemistry lab this morning, there was no such footprints there. Which means they were left around the time of murder and therefore connected to this case. Furthermore, the footprints were in front of cabinet A, where the protein filled poison uh, was found. In all likelihood, a culprit accidentally left on one performing the exchange at cabinet A. And with footprints as clear as those, it's a simple test to determine whose they are. I'm going to check everyone's shoes right here, right now. That will tell us exactly. They're mine. <gasps> no. It can't be. No. Those footprints. They're mine. Asahina? You're going to figure it out anyway. So I'm better off just telling you myself. That the one who killed Ogre was... Yes, I did. I killed Sakura! I suspect as much. No! No, no, no! No matter how you look at it, those footprints were made with tennis shoes. And the only ones, only people here who wear tennis shoes. Tennis shoes? People have wearing, uh, well... Not me and Tugami. Not me and Kuwata. But me and Asahina. Well, it makes sense, right? Asahina and I are the only ones. I get it. So that's why you... Yeah, that's why you, you automatically thought of Negi. Hmm. If the footprints weren't yours, then the only other possibility... Was Hina? And while we're on the subject, since the class trial began, Asahina has been acting rather unusual. She's been pushing unusually hard to get us, cast, to, get us to cast our ballots. She wanted us to rush our decisions so the blame of her crime would fall on someone else. I can't believe that. What's so unbelievable about it? I mean, Asahina and Ugami were good friends. Which is exactly what gave her this chance. Ugami wouldn't even bat an eye at protein given to her by her good friend Asahina. Asahina exploited their so-called friendship. She used it to deceive the victim Ugami and continued using it to try to deceive us as well. That was one hell of a dirty trick you pulled, Asahina. Is it true, Asahina? Did you really kill Ugami? And if so, why? Why would you do that? When I found Sakura in the rec room, her head all hurt and bloody, she asked me to bring her some protein. But then I was in a chem lab going to get it for her, and the idea just popped into my head. I could kill her now, you thought, didn't you? So you swapped the two bottles two bottles contents and gave her the protein container with the poison in it. When I did, Sakura she drank it all in one big gulp. And then she she Hold on. I can't I can't accept that. God, don't tell me you've brought into this hole she wouldn't kill her friend nonsense too. Have you still not gone through your thick skulls? This game does not operate on your ideals. Naive dogmas like friendship hold no ground here. This is a game of wits, of securing a spot atop the hill. That's not one person who, uh, there's not one person who would sacrifice himself or for another. 
In the end, every man thinks only of himself. Just as that woman sacrificed Ugami for her own sake. Be that as it may, I still can accept that you're still holding out. Don't get me wrong, I'm not being sentimental here. I simply just can't accept that when certain questions have been uh, when certain questions have been left unanswered. You mean the sealed room? Asahina, if you truly are the culprit, then tell me this. How'd you con construct that sealed room? Uh, well, uh... Who cares about that? Just because I'm the killer doesn't mean I have, to, I have to come clean about everything. I'm not saying that. But I am curious as to the reason you can't tell us. Don't tell me. You're trying to say Asahina is the murderer. And what if I am? Preposterous. Knowing she swapped the protein but poisoned, there's no room left for doubt. Can you really be so sure about that? Even ignoring the fact that I don't want to believe it, it still strikes me as a little bit odd. What's odd about it? I mean, like, why wouldn't she do anything about such obvious footprints? It's kind of like, how should I say it, a little too obvious. I agree. It's almost as though she's asking us to suspect her. Well, I was so nervous. I didn't realize that I had left footprints. You didn't realize? Yeah. It's the truth. What more do you want from me? Hey, Asahina, would you mind going into a little bit more detail about when you switch the protein with the poison? Why? It's not necessary. Asahina, I'm asking you to. Fine. Do whatever you want. It's already obvious she's the culprit. There are no other suspects. Nobody other than her could have done it. Please begin, Asahina. Start from when you went to the chem lab, if you would. Um, first I went to the cabinet C and got the poison from there. That's when you spill the powder in front of the cabinets. Yeah, I grabbed one of the poison bottles from the cabinet and it slipped and fell. Got it. Continue. Next, I went to cabinet A and got the protein and that's where I swapped the two. And I, after I swapped them, I took the poison filled con uh, protein container with me and left the chem lab. But I accidentally left the protein filled poison bottle cabinet A. And because of that, because of that you figured it all out. There. That's everything. Hey, Asahina. Based on what you just told us, after taking the poison from Cabinet C, you went straight to Cabinet A to get the protein, didn't you? In other words, you're saying you walked directly from Cabinet C to Cabinet A, aren't you? Yeah, I am. But in that case... It doesn't add up. Asahina, would you please repeat what you just told us? What's up, Mackie? You're pretty pushy today, aren't you? Damn. How long do you plan on dragging this out? Listening to it again isn't going to change anything. How long? That's obvious. Until I've reached the truth. Corny! Yeah, whatever. Alrighty, so we got another non stop debate, and we got a couple stuff here. Okay. So I think you guys already know where this is going. I want the cabinet C first. And that's where I got the poison. And that's when you spill the powder in front of the cabinets. When I grabbed the bottle from the cabinet, it slipped and fell. And what happened next? I went from cabinet C to cabinet A. And swapped the poison with the protein. When I finished with that, I put the protein filled poison bottle in cabinet A. Then I took the poison filled protein container and left the chem lab. That's everything. Surely you've heard enough, or are you going to drag us out even more? The, the position and path traced by the footprints in front of the chem lab ca content, cabinets obviously contradict Asina's claims. But what exactly are they contradicting? <sighs> We'll find out next time, guys. So, and it's not really that hard. I think you guys already know what it is, but you know, hey. But, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Danganronpa. I'll see you guys later.